Since this is my first video of 2023, so happy new year to everyone. So welcome to Jack of all movies where I will continue the report card of Hollywood movies in this part 2 video. So if you haven't seen the report card of Hollywood from January to June, you might wanna check out the part 1 video, link is in the description. Now it's time to go for the movies released from July to December and let's begin with July. On July 1, Minions The Rise of Gru was released in cinemas and then this film proved that Despicable Me franchise is consistent with its grosses. Minions 2 grossed $939.4 million on a budget of $80 million. Next week on July 8, The Asgardian returned with the fourth installment in the franchise. Thor Love and Thunder might be the least successful Marvel film of 2022 because it ended up grossing $760.9 million on a budget of $250 million. Still, both the films in the July were successful and where the crowd at sync continued the trend on July 15 by grossing $140.2 million on a budget of $24 million. On the same date, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paz delivered a strong box office performance according to Deadline by grossing $30 million on a budget of $9 to $13 million. But July wasn't all unicorns and rainbows because on July 15, Paramount released its first bomb with Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank. The film grossed $42 million worldwide on a budget of $45 million. Next week, Jordan Peele arrived with his latest hit, Nope, grossed $171.4 million on a budget of $68 million. It was a moderate hit, but still it was the lowest grossing movie of Jordan Peele as a director. July ended with a DC animated film which was okay. If we talk about its box office performance, the film made $204.5 million on a budget of $90 million. August started on August 5 where we witnessed two movies. One was a moderate success, but the other was a pure bomb. So the success comes from Brad Pitt's film Bullet Train, which grossed $239.3 million on a budget of $85.9 to $90 million. The bomb was Easter Sunday, which did $13.1 million on a budget of $17 million. The rest of the August kind of went to Idris Elba, but in a bad way. On August 19, Beast grossed $59 million worldwide on a budget of $36 million. On August 26, a week later, Idris Elba decided to drop even a bigger bomb when 3000 Years of Longing grossed $19.4 million on a budget of $60 million. Before we close August, let's talk about The Invitation which did well by grossing $33 million on a budget of $10 million. September's story started with a unique horror film on September 9, Barbarian, which grossed exactly 10 times its budget by grossing $45 million on a budget of $4.5 million. On September 16, a critically acclaimed film underperformed by grossing $94.3 million on a budget of $50 million. On September 23, a controversial film performed a bit better by grossing $86.7 million on a budget of $35 million. September ended on September 30 with two interesting stories. Let's talk about the sad one first, when Bros grossed $14.8 million worldwide on a budget of $22 million. But on the same date, Something came that made Hollywood smile. The film grossed $216.1 million worldwide on a budget of $17 million. Then October opened with two bombs on October 7, and Lyle Lyle Crocodile just grossed $88 million worldwide on a budget of $50 million. And Amsterdam was even a bigger bomb, grossing just $31.2 million worldwide on a budget of $80 million. Next week, on October 14, Halloween Ends did end up being successful after grossing $105 million on a budget of $33 million, but it was the lowest grossing film of the new trilogy. On October 21, Hierarchy of Power did not change much, when Black Adam just grossed $391.3 million on a budget of $190 to $260 million. Well, according to some sources, this one is a flop, but Dwayne Johnson says this one is not, so I leave it to you guys, what do you think it is? On the same date, there was a surprise hit when a rom-com film performed decently. I'm talking about Ticket to Paradise, which grossed $171.4 million on a budget of $60 million. After seeing some DC data, let's switch the brand and month. As we look at November 11, when Black Panther Wakanda Forever grossed $810.3 million on a budget of $250 million. Although this gross could end up higher as the film is still in theaters. And from now on, every film I'll talk about is probably running in theaters. So their grosses are subject to change. Next week on November 18, The Men New did nice business after collecting $70.2 million on a budget of $30 million. But this month won't end without bombs as Strange World gave disastrous performance after grossing just $67 million worldwide 
on a budget of 135 to 180 million dollars. Following the same route, Devotion also did something similar by doing just 20.5 million dollars worldwide on a budget of 90 million dollars. Last month of 2022 did open well on December 2 when Violent Night grossed 70.2 million dollars on a budget of 30 million dollars. On December 21, Puss in Boots The Last Wish grossed 92.4 million dollars on a budget of 90 million dollars. But the story is not over, so this will leg out. But the story was almost over in the case of Babylon, which grossed just $8.3 million worldwide on a budget of $78 to $80 million. Similarly, I Wanna Dance With Somebody is not doing anything exceptional, which has grossed $14.7 million worldwide on a budget of $45 million. So that's all and we'll see how 2023 will look for Hollywood. Am I forgetting something? Oh, the biggest film of 2022, when James Cameron did what he does best. So Avatar The Way of Water currently stands at $1.193 billion on a budget of $360 to $450 million. And it will definitely cross Top Gun Maverick. It is yet to be seen if it will cross $2 billion mark. So that's all for now. Comment below your favorite box office performance. Subscribe for more and thanks for watching.